Hi, welcome to another video. Recently, I covered ZAI, which is a really good code editor with AI features, and it is very much on par with Cursor, but open source. If you haven't watched that video, let me give you a quick recap. Z is an open source editor that is claimed to be much faster and better overall than VS Code. It's also open source, which is really cool, but recently they added AI features to their editor, making it very similar to Cursor. It has all the major AI features you'd want, like Cursor, and it's compatible with various providers that you can configure with your API key. Plus, they're offering free Claude 3.5 for people to try out. I've already covered how you can use it for free and with an API, but one thing I didn't cover was how you can use it with Olima. I only used it with the free Claude model they provide, and it worked well. But I think the best part about it is that you can use it with Olima. So, today, I'll be showing you how to use it with Olima and which model is best to get great results, which should be pretty cool to see. First, let's get Zed installed. To do that, just visit Zed's site, download the setup file, and install it. Once you've done that, just open it up. You can do whatever you want here, just like with VS Code, but we obviously want to use the AI features. So, just click here, and you'll see the chat interface. Now, Click on the Models option, and then on Configure. Here, you can configure your models from Z itself, Anthropic, OpenAI, or whatever you want. But here, we'll use Olama for local model usage. To use it, we'll first need to configure Olama. To get Olama installed, go to Olama's site, click on the Download button, choose your operating system, and install it. Once you have Alama installed, we'll need to choose a model to use. There are tons of models that you can use based on your computer's compatibility. Generally, the higher the parameters a model has, the better the quality you'll get. If you're limited in system resources, you can use Phi 3.5, which has about 4 billion parameters, and is pretty good at coding as well. If you have a good amount of memory and space, you can use Quen2, which has about 8 billion parameters, and is also really good at coding. If you want to go even higher, you can try the Mistral Nemo model, which has about 12 billion parameters, and is extremely good at coding as well. For today, I'll be trying out the Phi 3.5 model, as most of you will be able to follow along that way. Anyway, just click on the model on the model page, and copy the command. Now, paste it into your terminal, and the model will start installing. Once the model has been installed, you'll see the chat interface in your terminal. Just send a message and check if it's working fine. Once that's done, just return to Zed. Now, you can start using Zed with the Olima models, because Olima models automatically get added without doing anything. First of all, you can chat with the model by clicking this AI icon in the footer, and if you click it, you'll see the chat interface. Now, go to the model option, and if you scroll down, you'll see all your Olama models. Let's select the Phi 3.5 model here. You can send in your messages and chat, and you can also add files, open tab data, and do stuff like that, which is really cool if you want to chat about your code files. So, that's basically the chat interface. But you can also generate and edit code with the model. To do that, just go to any of your files, hit the inline assist option, and this prompt box will open up. Before using it, click this option here and select the Alama model that you want to use. Once you've selected it, you can ask it to do anything. Let's ask it to make a simple landing page. Send the request, and you can see it's generating now. We'll need to wait a bit for it to finish.
And as you can see, it's done. Now, you can see the exact code that it generated. Once you're satisfied with the code, just click the tick button. And once you do that, it will be added. Let's save it now and run it. OK, here's the preview, and it looks fine. Now, let me also show you how you can edit the code with it as well. To do that, you'll need to select the code that you want the AI to edit. Once you select it, you can just hit the Inline Assist option again and ask it to edit the code. Or if you just want it to generate code in a new line, you can just go to that line and click it. I'm here on this line, so let's hit it and ask it to add a heading here and send it. Now, it's generating. Let's wait a bit. And it's finally done. Let's approve it. We'll also need to save it. OK, now let's preview it. And as you can see, it's now added, which is also really cool. So that's basically how you can use ZAI with Olama, and it works really well. I mean, it's super cool to use. Best workflow currently could be to use Ader to generate applications and do the major stuff. Then, when you want to make some simple, smaller changes, you can just come to ZAI and ask it to make those changes with these features which is also pretty good. I'm waiting for Zed to add multi-file editing that would allow us to make whole applications with simple prompts, which will be really cool to see. I think it has great potential to catch up with all the AI tools out there. And because it's open source, you won't need to spend a bunch of money to use it. I believe these tools make it a really good no-barrier entry for people who want to do stuff but may not be able to invest in something up front. Also, because you have the multiple config option, you can start from something simple like local model. And if you think that a local model can't do a thing, then you can just select other bigger model and use that which is also really cool. Overall, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.